Yeah, good morning, Adam. Yeah, we're still here at the Chesapeake Law Enforcement Training Academy. It's still raining, but it's nonetheless, it's a good day to, to train. But yeah, we're going to have a pool of, of people coming here. They're going to be uh, starting their careers in the law enforcement community. They're going to be starting here at this facility. And we have Sergeant Nikki Pascal. She's the assistant director of the academy this morning. So uh, obviously, we've already covered a little bit of the uh, of the physical course, but it, it, it's more than that, right? Tell us uh, what else is, is is there? We have um, about, so throughout the academy, we take um, a collective 11 written tests. We have two weeks of defensive tech, I'm sorry, yes, two weeks of defensive tactics, one week of EVOC driving, and we also have one week of firearms. And um, that's just our specialties that we put our class through. Um, they all have to score passing grade in order to proceed through the academy. It's just, it's, it's, it's challenging, but it is absolutely doable if your heart is in it. And of course, right now, it's a very crucial time for you guys, not only for the Chesapeake Sheriff's Office, but for just sheriff's offices all across Hampton Roads. You guys are in need of recruits right now. Tell us a little bit about that. Yes, it's we we are we are always in need. Um, as, as of right now, especially we we would really appreciate anybody to come out. If you have the heart and the drive to come into law enforcement, please come and do it. Don't ever feel like it's not something that can't be done. If it's something that you want to do, you can do it, and we welcome it here. And speaking of doing things, I'm going to be running this course, actually. I'm giving you a little tease right now. What you can expect comes uh, roughly uh, 7.15. So if you want to see me get my rear end whipped into shape, go through this course, then you're definitely going to want to tune into the 7 o'clock 